And a warm welcome on what is a fine day for football. I'm delighted to be able to report. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from the Segunda División. It's FC Andorra, and they take on Villarreal Bay. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, they're playing in a 4 5 1 formation, which is set up to counter attack at pace. Yes, they'll play with a flat midfield out of possession, but when they win the ball back, they'll break forward really quickly. Let's hope they play it well today. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, this system gives them a good defensive base. A well-drilled back four, a solid midfield with wide players tucking in, and two forwards who can press the ball. But does it provide enough fluidity going forward? I'm never sure. And the match begins. It is to be a throw in. Really good challenge. Sinan Bakish just cutting off the supply and he takes on the shot well kept out And short it is. Surely! It's terrific block. Oh, the threat is there, and the keeper there to deal with it. It's a short one. He got in the way of that cross. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. And he read it well, intercepting it. And they need to get tighter here. Oh, good-looking run. Can he finish? And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward.
Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. And back underway. 1-0 it is. Sinan Bakish. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Did well to win the ball back. Well, the visitors, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got forward with pace and with numbers. It's been a great counter-attacking display. Well, flinging himself at it. Short corner it is. Could be a chance to break here. Bundu. Must be able to close down the shot. Went in strongly to win the ball. Perfectly positioned to take it away. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Knocked on the target, the keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Well, very effective play in possession. And it might be. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, as you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Marca! 
And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Bundu. Sinan Bakish. And that'll end up being the keeper's ball. As the stats show us, the visitors have had most of the play. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Yes, really going so well for them, and who knows, they might be able to craft another opportunity. And he saw the situation developing, making sure it didn't get past him. Well, really fine goalkeeping, good diving stop. Time for a change then. It's a short corner. It's not a bad ball. Oh, super header, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. Another corner. They take it short. Good looking cross. Well, that's the end of that for now. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Well, the supporters think it's on. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, could this be the turning point? The fans are certainly hoping so. And time for the change now. <laughs> Playing it in. And did his job defensively. A chance to whip it in. Good strength to keep the ball. Superb block. He has teammates around him. inside the final 10 minutes in this one went in strongly to win the ball oh great attacking play a fine block throw-ins given well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change Terrific block. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Can he find the right pass? Can he do it? 
And the keeper got there. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. It's a short one. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. Well, Derek, they weren't at their best today, both as individuals and as a team. And they didn't deserve anything from the game. Need a much better display next time out. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's made his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.